Hey GRT here and welcome back to another video. This gameplay I'm playing Hardcore Team Deathmatch on Fringe and I am trying to complete my Dark Matter. I have not completed it yet, I'm way behind. And I think the hardest part of Dark Matter will probably be the rocket launchers and the sniper rifles. I'm not a very good sniper, never have, and probably never will be. But I am going to try it anyway, and I think the rocket launchers, if I remember right, there's a challenge. Correct me if I'm wrong, you can leave it down in the comments below. But I believe there's a challenge for each score streak you have to shoot, and I think the power core was part of that. But you can correct me if I'm wrong. And the worst part, if that is true, if I really do have to destroy a certain amount of power cores, that's going to be really difficult for me, because usually I kill people before they even get close to any, any of those type of score streaks. So that'll be very difficult for me. I mean, unless they get it from a care package. That's probably the only thing that I might look out on, but I very rarely ever see any of those types of care packages. Anyways, as far as the class I'm using, I am using the XR2. It was part of the challenge for the camo to not have any attachments on this gun. Which really isn't too bad. The XR2 is, plays really well without any attachments, surprisingly. And this gameplay actually go 43-0 with the Brutal. So that's pretty good. However, I had to supplement everything. I could have used a secondary for close combat situations, but I didn't. I figured my perks would work really well against these guys because a lot of these guys were actually newer. So I knew that I could probably get away with just awareness, essentially. So I pretty much sound horrid the crap out of every single person in this match. But that was to my advantage. And like I said in all my previous gameplays, you gotta play smart and kinda realize what you're going up against and set yourself up for that type of game. And in this game, it was easily awareness is all I really, really need along with fast hands. But as far as my perks go, I'm using Ghost, Overclock, Fast Hands, Anti-Up, Awareness, and Dead Silence. And I figured just in case my team is really bad, I would just still use Wraith, Hater, and Raps because of course, they're always going to get you a lot of kills. Also, they us usually they end up killing you as far as the raps go. And Wraith, I don't know what's up with the Wraith. It seems like it targets me at least once every game. I have to run away, even though there's not a single enemy near me. Like I said, the XR2 played really, really well. I like it. I tried to use the Man of War. Man of War was next after this uh, was completed. And the Man of War was the worst so far. Yes, it's great for one-hit kills. However, the draw time on that gun is horrendous. It's probably one of the worst draw times. It's even worse than an LMG. That's how bad it is. Uh, but I also managed to complete that, and now I'm on to the Shiva. And I have some Shiva gameplay for you guys coming up soon. Unfortunately, I've had computer problems in the past. That's why it took me so long to upload a video for my throwback episode 2. I've attempted that three times and all three times failed for the upload because my computer kept freezing or it restarted itself. So I am having technical difficulties with my computer and hopefully that's not gonna increase. I gotta try to fix that probably this week. So for those that are behind the times as far as Dark Matter goes and you're in the same boat as I am that haven't completed Dark Matter quite yet, I highly recommend playing Team Deathmatch and either in Core or Hardcore. I play a lot of hardcore, this is my hardcore account, I'm really far into prestige on this account and I've actually completed a lot of the weapons already on this account. So this is my hardcore account and my core account is essentially just for core. Or it's also for search and destroy, I love playing search and destroy on my other account. But going back to what I was saying, if you're searching for dark matter, between team deathmatch and hardcore team deathmatch, a lot of newbies like playing that. I, I would recommend trying to get your headshots done in hardcore. A lot of people say it's easier. I'm not so sure how much easier it is because I play mainly hardcore anyway. However, Team Deathmatch has a lot of new people playing in it, whether it's hardcore or core. In hardcore, I would say it's probably a little bit easier only because the fact that there's a general consensus in the community that thinks that there's a lot of campers in hardcore team deathmatch which even if there was when you come into a game my game that is 
I'm looking for the campers. They're the ones that get me the easiest kills. A lot of the time they're not too smart. They think, okay, well we'll just lay a trip mine over here with a shock charge. Well, I'm looking for those because I know that's what you're going to be doing. So technically campers will give you the most kills. You just got to know how to go about it. So I highly recommend if you're trying to complete guns, any type of gun, play Hardcore Team Deathmatch. And if you have friends, I would play Domination as well because Domination will get you a lot of kills because it's a longer time in which you can actually play the game. So I highly recommend either Domination, Team Deathmatch. If you're a solo player, play Team Deathmatch. If you play with a team, play Domination. But anyway, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you next time.